Danielle Mick. I'm an art educator and artist. I've been painting for 25 years. I've been teaching for about 18. I work in all media, so I teach in all media. I'm working here on Frederick's canvas. These two are done on Raymar panels that you can only get online. I also like to work on this arches. It's a whiteboard. It's this one. You buy a large size and you can cut it to any size you want and then tone it. Never work on white paper. You always want to get rid of the white except for watercolor. <laughs> As you can see, I've got most of the brighter colors and sharper detail coming within here. As I moved away from the focal point, I always think about a focal point, I dull down the color and have less detail. This horizon line is smack in the middle of the um, image. Well, we all know you never put the horizon line in the middle, cutting it in half. So I decided to make it more about the sky than the water, so I lowered the horizon line. So you all do this, right? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And the other thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to work upside down. And why am I going to work upside down? Now, there's some students in here that are mine, and they should be able to tell me that. Because you're just doing shapes. You're not you don't want to identify what it is. You just want to see shapes and values. All right, so this is the color that I just missed, okay? And that's the color that's way up here at the top. Everybody agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now what I want to do is mix the color that's in between, okay? So what I'm going to do is drag some of this color over and add more white. And I'm going to add a little more cerulean blue. I'm going to start with the sky. And this is just the first coat. Remember that. I'll step aside for anyone who's being blocked by my body. Yeah, that's almost pure paper, very little water, right? Very little water. I just came in, can I ask you why you're painting upside down? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think everyone here will tell you why. So you'll see shapes. The reason I particularly paint upside down is when I'm doing skies. The skies, when you do it right side up, they tend to do little cotton balls. <laughs> this way, I'm just seeing shapes. I'm not saying it's a cloud. Does everyone understand that the horizon line is the lightest farther away? Anywhere. Okay. So, there's one exception, the ocean. The ocean is always darkest at the horizon line. And why is that? It's the deepest. Pardon? It's the deepest. It's the deepest, that's right. So, here we have the exception right here. So I mix both with the brush. First, go around. I have a couple of like really old beat up brushes that will bristle that I like to use at the end to really get the wispy little edges. You always have to remember where our light source is. Really 
really bright white right there. There. So you can start to see it. You see the difference from just all white to the warm? Okay. All right. So now it's time for you to play. So we're going to do finger painting? No, you don't have to. I'm just showing you another way to loosen up. If you want to. I can see too much anyhow. Get the ideas. All right, now that took two minutes. When I hear that you're painting too tight and you have no time to paint, in 20 seconds you can do this. But to get you to loosen up so that you're not right, this is a very good way to do it. 